Orange County Public School students are provided with a digital device such as an iPad in grades K and 1 and a laptop in grades K 2 through 12 through the generous support of the community. In elementary school, students most often keep their devices at school in a charging cart. But in middle and high school, students travel back and forth to school with their device so they can use it for homework and other academic tasks. This tech tip is all about understanding student device and accessory incident fees. The digital device provided to each student is the property of Orange County Public Schools, and the OCPS Code of Student Conduct holds students accountable for loss or damage to OCPS property. When loss or damage occurs, a fee is assessed. Let's check out the top five questions families have about device incident fees and get you some answers. The first question we often get is what does the school district consider damage? Damage can be a lot of things, but basically it is any change to the device that causes it not to function fully or to change its appearance. Damage can be caused intentionally or by being negligent or it can be accidental. Damage is often uncovered during device check-in at the end of the year. And so the second most common question we receive from families is, what happens at device check-in? Well, have you ever rented a car? I have. And when you rent a car and you return it, a rental car employee checks the outside and inside of the car to make sure that it's in the same condition they gave it to you in and that it's still working. OCPS does the same thing at device check-in. An OCPS employee will look at the device to see if there's any damage and to make sure it's working correctly. The most common types of damage that are observed include cracks or holes in the outside case, broken cases, damaged power cords, cracked glass screens, and missing keyboards. I'm sorry, missing keys on a laptop keyboard. Sometimes students also have a missing charging cord or case. Whenever damage is observed, a fee is assessed. That brings us to the third most common question. How much are device and accessory incident fees? Well, it depends. There are two different kinds of incident fees. One for devices like laptops and iPads and one for accessories like charging cords and cases. The first time there is an incident with a student device, the fee is $25. The second time there is an incident with a device, the fee is $50. Most students do not have more than two incidents with a device, but if there is a third incident or more than three incidents, then the cost is the depreciated value of the device. The first time that there is an accessory incident, the fee is $10. The second time there is an incident with an accessory, the fee is $15. And the third time or more that there is an incident with the accessory, the fee is $25. You might be wondering, does that mean that if my elementary schooler has three incidents with their device, I'll be paying the depreciated value if anything happens in middle and high school? Whew. Well, luckily, the answer is no. Fees and incident counts are reset at the end of 5th and 8th grade, which means everyone gets a clean slate as they head into middle and high school. This brings us to the fourth most common question. If your child has had three incidents in a single grade band, like elementary school, middle school, or high school, what is the depreciated value they're responsible for? A depreciated value is a complex term for a simple idea. Let's use another car analogy. Let's say you buy a new car for $10,000 and you decide to sell it a month later. Is that car still worth $10,000? Nope, it's worth a little less because the minute you started driving off that lot, it started losing value or depreciating as you were using it. Depreciated value is the minimum amount that the laptop or iPad is worth after its value has decreased over time due to wear and tear. So if a student has had three or more device incidents in a single grade band, 
then the fee is the depreciated value of the laptop or iPad. If the third incident happens when their device was purchased a year or less ago, then the fee is the full cost of repair or replacement for that device, and the school will provide you the information about how much that is. If the third incident happens when their device was purchased two years ago, then the replacement fee is $400, which is less than the cost of the full replacement. If the third incident happens when their device was purchased three years ago, then the replacement fee is $250. And if the third incident happens when their device is four years old, then the replacement fee is $100 because the value of the device keeps depreciating. Well, that brings us to the fifth most frequently asked question. What do I do if my child has been charged with a device or accessory incident fee? If your child incurs a device or accessory incident fee, they should receive a digital device and accessory form like the one you see here. You may also receive a phone call, email, or text message with this information from the school. Device and accessory incident fees are due when you receive them. Incident fees can be paid with cash or check in the school's media center or using a credit card on the school pay website. You can also contact your school's principal to make arrangements to pay over time with a payment plan. If for some reason you're notified of a device or accessory incident fee that you do not agree with, you can dispute it. To dispute an incident fee, you must contact the school principal in writing with your concern. The school principal will respond within 48 business hours or two working days to work with you to try to resolve the issue. If after you've spoken, you're unable to resolve the issue with the school principal, the dispute may be escalated to the area superintendent for the learning community who will make a final decision. Well, that's it. The top most frequently asked questions about device and accessory incident fees, but most importantly, the answers. See you soon.